Kiwis overwhelmingly want the government to extend the cut to fuel excise tax beyond January 31. Results from the latest News Hub Read Research poll show 81.4% want the cuts extended. 12.7% don't know, and the, sorry, say no, and the rest don't know. The 25 cents per litre cut to fuel excise duty, along with the cuts to road user charges and public transport fares, is supposed to ease the pain of sky high inflation. But prices are still high, meaning that summer roadie could cost you a lot more than usual. So here to help us get the most out of our tank is motoring expert Clive Matthew Wilson. Hi there, Clive. Thank you very much for turning up to the Hi Grand there. News Hub Towers there with three wonderful team cars out for you. Can we start with you telling us what the drivers of these cars are doing well to maximise their fuel efficiency? Well, the first thing they're doing well is just getting small cars because small cars use less fuel. It's basically as simple as that. Um, and uh, uh, the first thing that anybody can do and should probably do tonight or tomorrow morning is check your tyre pressure because if you've got uh, low, badly inflated tyres, you're going to, uh, you're going to be un less safe and you're going to use a lot more fuel. So that's really, really easy tip to start with. Um, the second thing is that, uh, as we will demonstrate, that Kiwis use a lot of um, fuel simply by carrying too much in their cars. So if we go around here, there's a, probably an awful lot in this vehicle that doesn't mm. need to be here. Yeah. And if you carry around a whole lot of junk in the back of your car, then you can expect to use more fuel. It's as simple as that. Um, with the holiday break coming up, the one thing that everyone should try and avoid wherever possible is leave off the roof racks because they, a car ideally goes through the air like an arrow, you put a roof rack there, it's like holding your hand out the window or, you know, it's anything that obstructs the easy flow of the car through the air is going to use a lot more fuel. So it's actually better just leave the stuff behind or put it under the seat or do something, but leave off the roof racks, be careful about towing because towing really, really increases your fuel consumption. Obviously, everybody needs to get their car tuned before Christmas if they haven't had a tune-up in a while. But the, the number one thing, if you want to save fuel, is simply how you drive. If you look at a people in a row of traffic, there's, there's a, a car stopped here and everyone goes right up to the back of the car. What they should do is watch how the truck drivers drive. If there's something stopped here, they're just gently coming to a stop up here. And then when the light goes green in the okay, car in front, okay. it moves, sounds like it, it sounds like our car slowly. owners here are doing pretty well. We've got uh, just the one culprit there with too much in the boot. But small cars, check. We're not going to be seeing any of those cars towing anything anytime in a hurry, I don't think. Now, we're almost out of time. I don't want to put pressure on you to pick a winner, but if you were going to pick a winner uh, in terms of who's going to get the furthest on a full tank of gas, it would be the Vits, wouldn't it, do you think? Uh, it'd be one of these two, so okay. the Vitz or the, it's actually a Japanese version of the Yaris. So okay. yes, the small car wins every time when it comes okay. to fuel economy. And I can, I can assure you that the driver of the Vitz is the better of the two drivers of those vehicles, that being yours truly. Uh, so I will take the win. Clive, thank you very much for your tips tonight. <laughs>